The focus at the Natural Resources Forum turned from LNG and energy yesterday to mining and transportation today. It's been a tough year for the mining industry in BC and in Canada, but there may be big opportunities if the industry is ready to address those challenges head on. Mining is a fickle industry at the best of times, vulnerable to the quirks and foibles of the commodities markets. And right now, that is a big challenge facing the industry, and BC is not alone. Commodity prices, access to you know capital for the continued development of projects, etc. There is a global challenge that the industry is facing internationally. While mining has been in the spotlight for a while, the government is focusing a lot of attention on LNG of late, but those in the mining industry don't feel snubbed by the newcomer. I think the ability for LNG to move forward and present uh, the opportunity to diversify the economy is, is fabulous. Uh, I think, as you know, my background's in forestry and I spent uh, 20 years of my career on Vancouver Island that didn't have the diversified economy. Dan Jepson says there is still investment in mining and cites a huge project for this region. Preddy and Bruce Jack, uh, they just raised $81 million in the last uh, couple of weeks. It looks like they're going to get a permit in the next couple of months. Uh, it's in the same general area um, and it will, it's the highest grade underground gold deposit on the planet Earth right now. Mount Pauly was a challenge that affected BC's mining industry directly. The goal of government and industry is to find out exactly what happened there to ensure measures are in place to see it doesn't happen again. But 2014 presented another challenge, the Chilcotin decision out of the Supreme Court of Canada. As an industry, we see that as an opportunity to provide further clarity and certainty in terms of how our proponents, how is the resource development sector uh, expected to go forward? You know, what is the position of the government on that decision and how it's going to be implemented? While there are some hurdles, the provincial government predicts there will be eight new mines coming online in 2015-16 and nine mine expansions. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.